Hello boys and girls. This is our first read of One Body Mini Adaptations. And during this first read, all I want you to do is I want you to stop and ask questions. Maybe you don't understand a word. Circle it. Ask what it is. Maybe you don't understand a concept. Stop, pause, and write down your question. So we will begin. One Body Mini Adaptations by Judy Black. Animals live in many different places. Some animals live in hot deserts. Others live in frigid oceans. However, all have become adapted to where they live. Where an animal lives determines its adaptation. Animals rely on these special features to survive. So the first thing I wanted to know was what does the word determines mean? And you will notice that I circled it and then I wrote the question, what does determine mean? Adapted body parts are called structural adaptations. An animal might use body coverings, camouflage, and special body parts to survive. The penguin and the camel are examples of two animals with many structural adaptations. And so, I was really unsure about what they meant by the word structural. So I circled it and I said, what is a structural adaptation? The penguin. Penguins mostly live in a very cold places, such as Antarctica. These animals spend more than half of their time swimming in icy ocean waters. Predators fly above them and swim below them. Penguins survive these challenges with adaptations. First, the penguin's body coverings help it survive in cold places. Under its skin, the penguin has a layer of fat called blubber. This layer keeps the penguin warm. So do its feathers. Like the duck, the penguin has oil on its feathers to keep its skin dry and warm. Next, the penguin uses camouflage to survive. Its coloring helps keep it safe. The penguin's bl black back blends in with the dark water. This makes it hard for predators flying above to spot a penguin swimming. Its white belly blends in with the snow and sunlight. The white coloring makes it hard for predators swimming below penguins to spot them. Now, what I had a question with is how does it really work? I, I can't envision this penguin swimming along because that black just seems to pop out. So my question would be, how would having a black back and a white stomach help a penguin? I don't see it camouflaging. Maybe I need more examples of how this works. Penguins have wings, but they can't fly. Instead, their wings work like flippers to help them swim. Penguins, like ducks, also have webbed feet for better swimming. I want to pause and I want you to write down any more questions that you might have. Penguins do not have teeth. Their bill is hooked at the end to catch prey. They then swallow their food whole. Penguins only swim in salt water. When they catch their food, they take in salt water. Penguins have a special gland in their body that filters excess salt. The camel. Dry deserts are home to the camel. There are two kinds of camels, the Arabian camel, or the dromedary, and the Bactrian camel. Both types have many structural adaptations for surviving in deserts. There's that word again, structural. Camels have thick fur that changes in summer and winter. Even desert temperatures get very low in winter. So a camel's fur grows long to keep its body warm. In summer, a camel's fur sheds, so the camel stays cool. 
Its body coverings help it survive. Camels use camouflage to keep safe too. Sand covers much of the desert. A camel's brown colored fur blends in with the sand. This makes the camel harder to spot. Body parts to survive. All camels have humps on their back. An Arabian camel has one hump. A Bactrian has two. Why do camels need humps? Water in hot, dry deserts is limited or scarce. So camels store fat in their humps. A camel's body can change the fat into water when needed. Like some other desert animals, camels rarely sweat. This allows their bodies to hold fluids for a long time. These structural adaptations allow camels to travel up to 160 kilometers, which is about 100 miles, without a sip of water. When camels do drink, reports the website Live Science, they can soak up 150 liters, about 30 gallons of water in 13 minutes. Now is your time to pause the video and write any questions you might have. When camels get low on fat and water is not available, they consume desert plants. Cactuses are thorny desert plants that hold a lot of water. Camels have large, thick, leathery lips which help them eat these spiky plants. Deserts are often windy with sand blowing. The San Diego Zoo reports that camels have bushy eyebrows and two layers of eyelashes to keep sand from their eyes. Their nostrils clothes to keep sand out of their noses too. Surviving in difficult environments. Penguins and camels, like many animals, have structural adaptations to help them survive in different environments. Body coverings, for example, help keep penguins warm and camels cool, allowing them to live in cold or hot places. Camouflage Special body parts and other adaptations all mean one thing, survival.